Hello everyone. Today I would like to share a test that is to use uh, Excel to read the data from Allen Brownlee MicroLogic Controller 1400 and the one key software that is the RS Link software. We will use DDE function in the RS Link. So RS Link will acquire the data from the PLC and use its built-in DDE function transfer the data to the Excel allows the Excel read the data from the PLC. In this test, I will transfer some integer value, real float value to the Excel. Also, I will transfer some string value to the Excel as shown in the screen. Let me show some important steps. In this test, one important software we will use that is a Rockwell RS Link software. Or its full name is uh, RS Link Classic software. For this software, it mainly has a uh, four versions. One is RS Link Enterprise, RS Link Classic Single Node, RS Link Classic OEM, and RS Link Classic Gateway. So by default, if we install the Studio 5000 standard or Factory Talk Wheel. Uh, we will install one basic version that called RS Link Lite. For the RS Link Lite, uh, it cannot transfer the data from PLC to Excel because it doesn't have a DDE function inside. To use the DDE function, we have to use the version above the RS Link Lite. So that means we have to purchase a license. At least we need to use a single node. The basic difference between those different versions, so the lowest version, the lowest price that is a single node, from the Rockwell description, this software can only connect one device. That means this software can only connect one controller, transfer this controller to the OPC client or to the DD client. The higher one, that is a RS Link Classic OEM. So this OEM can connect uh, multiple devices or multiple controllers. But the client software has to stay with the same PC with this uh, RS Link Classic software. If your client is a remote station, you need to read the RS Link Classic, or reversely, your RS Link need to provide data to a remote station so you need a RS Link Classic Gateway. Or if RS Link worked in a, a big plant, or basically that is an enterprise level, so this RS Link need to connect multiple devices or multiple controllers and provide the data to a multiple clients, especially the remote client. So you need a RS Link Enterprise. To check off the different version and the different functions, we could search 9344 different RS Link classic versions and the features matrix. So from this description, we can look at this matrix to find out what the difference between the light, single node, OEM, and the gateway versions. Also, the detailed description about the single node OEM version as well as uh, the gateway, the detailed descriptions are showing here. So if you need to order the RS link based on your application, you could check out this uh, catalog number and ask uh, your local distributors. So in this test, I will use RS link classic gateway but I'm using a grace mode. Also in this uh, window system, I installed uh, Excel. And the actual controller, what I'm using, that is a Micrologic 1400 as a test controller. So next, uh, please follow me for the detailed process. So let's open the RS Link Classic Gateway. And let's firstly add uh, the internet channel. My controller that is a 192.168.1.10. So from this uh, configure driver, I configure the IP address of the controller. It this project named the OPC test. 
right click this icon and select configure new DDE OPC topic. So we create a channel and name the OPC test. After this, uh, we highlight this uh, channel OPC test channel name and select the right side of the controller 192.168.1.10. And by default, for MicroLogic, we can leave this uh, SLC. 503 plus this selection. If your controller that is a CompLogix, we can select a Logic 5000. The pool message, cycle time, we leave the 1000. The limited maximum package is by default that is the 20. Uh, from Rockwell description, recommend this value would be from 20 to 100. So from here, the communication driver we are using, that is a Ethernet connection. So this channel is running. We click done, finish the setting. It's very easy. Basically, we won't change anything. After we set up this channel, we select edit, select the copy DDE OPC link. Keep in mind, if you are using RS Link Classic Lite version, you will find in Lite version, there is no selection named Edit. That means the Lite version, it doesn't have this uh, copy DDE OPC linked function. So we selected that. So from this left column, RS Link OPC Server nodes, we can browse the tags or values that all the tags and the values come from the PLC. So we shift back to RS Logic 5000. Look at the value inside the MicroLogic 1400. So in this controller F8, this data area, uh, the float value F80, that is uh, 20.7. So we can after we browse. We can find F80, 0, 0, 1, 2, D has a value here. Okay, I will select a 0 as a first test value. Select this 0 and click OK. Once you click OK, this link will copy it. We open the Excel and we paste special. Select the paste link and select Unicode test. Click the OK. Once we paste this link, we will find the actual value from PLC already shown in the Excel. We can drag this link and manually write the next address. We will see the format behind this column. That is a one format link. RS link, that is uh, the, the typical name. OPC test, that is uh, the channel name we set up. You can rename this F8 column zero, that is uh, the key address of this value. So zero, this is the first float value. The first value that is a 30.5, second 30.5, third value that is a 100.5, and the fourth value, and we will write number three because it starts from the zero. So from here, we change the zero to three. Move the Excel here. We go the 40, so we can see the left side from the Excel. 40 is reading on the Excel. So now we will transfer to offline mode. I will create a new page date file. So I will create a string date file. 
and name the number 9 data file. Leave the element to 10. Save the project and we download. So next we will test uh, reading the string file. So we write the strings. So we write the string system task. So back to the RS link. Let's see if we can browse this uh, the number nine data file. We found it haven't updated yet. So from this list, we cannot find this ST9, the, num the number nine data page. We cannot find it because the system haven't updated yet. I cannot find the data file, so I create the N10, that is an integer number 10 data file for a test. So I drag this N10, the first one, zero address, grab this zero to the Excel. So I checked it, I found Excel can read this. So I found maybe I can use a manual way to manually write the address in the Excel. So let's see if it can read. So this is the ST9 address. Channel still the OPC test. So I manually change to ST9. Try to read this ST9, the zero address of the value. So it got a successful. And I change the number one, try to read the system test, this string. So we can see the Excel is reading this address. So that means if we manually change the address name, it's okay. We do not need to go to that OPC browser to grab the tag from that browser. Once we grab one successfully, we can manually change the address in the Excel. So I'm trying to rewrite the value in this string. So we can see once I rename or delete the value, it's updating in the Excel. So from this test, we test the integer value, we test the float value and the string value. That is ST90, the screen value address. The next one, ST91. So I'm trying to read the next screen value. So here's a question. We can see I tested successfully on the screen zero and the number one. And then I try to read the, the ST9 colon two and the colon three. But however, we can see from the Excel, it got an NA. Seems once it greater than two, it cannot read. So far, I don't know why it happens. Uh, I guess the main problem come from um, because I'm using the grace mode. If I use the activation license, it should be okay. So if I delete the number two and the number three, it got a success read again, but once I try to read the, the ST9 column two, it got an NA. Even I write the value into this value, into this address, it doesn't work. If I delete it, zero and one immediately read out. Uh, from test wheel, it's already enough. So in this test, uh, we used uh, the Micrologic 1400 controller as a test controller and use uh, 
the RS link uh, gateway grace mode, uh, we just do a test. And in this test, we use the Excel to read the data from the Micrologic 1400, where we read the integer value, that is 20 value here, and we read the full float value from the date page number eight, and also we read the strings value from the ST9, uh, date page number nine. We read the two strings, and we also find uh, maybe because I'm using the grace mode, so I can only read the two value here. So also we reviewed, uh, basically there are four versions on the RS link. If you try to read one controller and transfer this um, controller's value to a client in one PC, so you can use the, the single node, or if you need to read multiple controllers, but still the client still stay the same PC, with the RS link, you can use the OEM version. If, but if your system is uh, has a multiple layer, uh, your client need to remote connect to this RS link PC. So you need to use the gateway or enterprise version. So that is for today. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up. If you like to watch more videos in my channel, please subscribe. See you in next video.